Uh, good afternoon, and we are running a video to have a look at the Memsey Stakes, which comes up on Saturday, and uh, that will be the 1st of September, and the spring is really, really starting to sprung. Now, you'll be looking at here Professional Punters Dryery. There you are, Horse Racing Australia at Info. That's where I'll put my views up every day or so, mostly every day. And uh, the title here was A Lovely Day If You Like Running Second. Of course, I'm referring to yesterday, and we had... Uh, a few seconds there, which uh, didn't work out for us. And if they'd run first, it would have been great. However, um, today in the newsletter, you can find out how you can get back your money. Well, not only getting back money if you run second or third on Saturday, but there is an actual an offer there that if your horse runs second, you'll be paid the same price as if it won. So if it runs second at 20 to 1, uh, then you're going to get 20 to 1 on your money up to 100 bucks. It's a very good deal, and you can have a look at that in our newsletter. If you haven't signed up for our newsletter, you should be able to find a spot here. You can click on that there, and you can subscribe to our regular newsletter. And, of course, our YouTube channel, there it is. It's on our home page every day. If you want to look at staking, there it is. If you want a special offer and join the club, then that's uh, going to cost you less than a dollar per day. And if you join the club, you get a lot of extra benefits. But anyway... You go and have a look at that. In the meantime, let's go and have a look at the race. We've got two rating programs available. One of them is called Horse Racing Today, or HR2D for short. And it uh, looks at things like statistics, the trainer, the jockey, blah, 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 all the things the horse has done and sort of sorts it into a uh, relevant order. And so you can see here in Caulfield Race 7, it's the Memsey Stakes time on it. Well, that's what they say. And you can see straight here that a Vega Magic, it's a last start winner, won at Caulfield by three lengths. That was over 1,200 at this distance, at two starts for two wins, three starts at the track for three wins. So you can see why it is the top-rated horse in horse racing today. But the interesting thing is here, if you have a look at these um, particular situation, you'll find the uh, prices for these horses is very, very close in some stages because if you look at a horse like Grunt, um, it's hardly ever been beaten. If you look at Kementari, okay, it was fourth behind Winks last start, second before the start before that. At third run after a spell, 1400 should be ideal for it. Ran good last start. Is it good enough? Kings Will Dream had a series of wins, first up fourth and a very good run. So quite a few horses here, and you can see by the picture that we've created, quite a lot of runners in it. When we look at wind form, though, we've got different adjustments for barrier positions and, of course, uh, uh, lots of other things like comparing the uh, times they run at one track compared to how they might be expected to run at another and so on. We uh, don't usually have things so clear cut, but we do end up getting a better price. So the prediction is that Vega Ma Magic will probably be the uh, early favourite. And of course, the second favourite there would be Kementari, followed by Grunt, Kingswell Dream, Showtime and then Happy Clapper. OK, let's have a look at the wind form ratings for the race. We have it slightly different. So, given the fact that Kings Will Dream has done very, very well, even though this distance is probably a little bit below its best, we've actually got it on top, and we've rated it a $3.90 chance, and we're going to get about $9 for it, or maybe even better. Uh, Showtime second, Kementari. Basically, we've got the same horses, but they're in a different order. If we go down to Vega Magic, we've actually got a 20-point penalty on that horse, and that's because of the break that it's had. But... If we take the penalty off we and pull it back to that, it ran a 54-2 on wind form. But if we go back to this run here, over the 1,200 in October, it ran a 68.3. Okay, if we go back to a 1,400 metre race, this is back in August, 56.5. And so it's a rating over 1,400 is not as good, say, as it was, say, over the 1,200 metres. So that's why we've ended up leaving the penalty on, even though it's had two wins uh, from two starts of the 1400. The fact is that that is not its forte, whereas some of these other horses, uh, that is exactly the distance they need. So I'll leave it there. I thank you for having a look. And don't forget, go back, horseracingaustralia.info. It's easy enough to find. Have a look at my diary each day where I make comments and the like. And you, some people find it amusing at times. But have a look. There's always a bit of a read there. Now, this is how you can get Horse Racing Today Top 2. Click on there and you'll be able to sign up. You'll also be able to sign up to the WinForm ratings at the same place. Okay, 
And that's where we, we put the uh, video channel and this is where you can get the link through to get involved in staking. Thanks for calling and have a great weekend and enjoy the